This is Splat TV. Show, play, tech. Bread Knife here, and today we are going to take a side-by-side -side look at the newest motherboard from Gigabyte, based on the new Socket 1150 for the Haswell series processors from Intel. The Gigabyte GA-Z87N Wi-Fi and its predecessor, the GA-Z77N Wi-Fi. Now, pareho silang maliit. Both are ITX form factor. Makikita ninyo mamaya, halos wala silang pinagkaiba. Pwera na lang sa socket na support nila. Itong isa para sa latest Haswell and the predecessor is for the Sandy and Ivy Bridge based processor. Now, we won't focus too much on the Z77N Wi-Fi. That's from the previous generation, the Sandy and Ivy Bridge. But we are going to use this motherboard as a comparison sa bagong motherboard based on the Haswell processor and the socket 1150, which is the Z87N Wi-Fi. Bago tayo mag side by side, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Opening the box, ito na agad ang motherboard, pero mamaya na yan. Unahin muna natin ang iba pang laman. Standard fare, what you usually expect out of a motherboard box. It has a multilingual installation guidebook, an ultra-durable gigabyte user's manual. They use the same for the H87N Wi-Fi model. Meron ding motherboard driver disk, utility driver disk. Mm-hmm. Input output shield, which is black, nice touch. Black SATA cables. And finally, the antenna, which for me, among the accessories, is one of the key differences that I'd say that I like. Instead of two antennas for the dual band Wi Fi, you now have just one antenna, which is bigger, by the way. And I think it's very convenient because makalat ang dalawa antenna. This is a very good update from Gigabyte. That's a nice idea. To compare, let's take a look at what the old antenna looks like from the previous generation motherboard. As you can see, it's a, it's a lot smaller than the, than the new one. A very, very good update. Nice. Now it's time to take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison between the two motherboards. Here are the two motherboards side-by-side. -side. You can hardly tell the difference between the two. Siyempre, it would be good to take note na hindi pwedeng gamitin ang Sandy and Ivy Bridge processor sa bagong Z87 and Wi-Fi motherboard. They both have two DIMM slots for DDR3 memory. The Z87 Wi-Fi supports up to 2666 MHz DDR3 RAM on overclock. There is a 24-pin power socket at the top of the ITX motherboard. Nandito din yung same location ng Wi-Fi module. And here's the SATA ports ninyo makikita ang key differences. The Z77N Wi-Fi has two SATA 3 and two SATA 2 ports habang the Z77N has two SATA 3 and two SATA 2 ports habang the latest Z87N has four SATA 3 6 gigabit ports. Looking at the back side of the motherboard, makikita ninyo na mas maraming USB 3.0 ports ang Z87N than the previous generation motherboard. Both have dual gigabit LAN ports, optical audio out and 5.1 channel audio, and according to the Gigabyte website, it can support up to 7.1 channel audio, a PS2 combo, dual HDMI, and a DVI-I output. There you go, ang side-by-side -side overview with the latest ITX motherboard from Gigabyte for the latest Haswell processor, the GA-Z87N Wi-Fi. This will be perfect para dun sa gusto mag-build ng ITX gaming powerhouse coupled with, of course, the latest Haswell processors from Intel. Thank you so much, Gigabyte Philippines. And this has been Bread Knife for Splat TV Show Play Tech. Splat is powered by Blink, the company trusted by PC experts.